Could red dots on the James Webb Space Telescope image of the early universe have been a long theoretical star called a black hole star? Explore these topics and more on Surveying the Cosmos. Hi everyone, I'm Eric, and welcome to Surveying the Cosmos, where I'll get your space news and more real fast. A few weeks ago, I reported that the James Webb Space Telescope found around 300 tiny little red dots, huh? dubbed as cosmic miracles. They're approximately 280 million years old. Some astronomers have suggested that these little red dots were potentially mature galaxies way too early in the current timeline of the Big Bang model, when the first stars are thought to have formed about 120 million years later. A new paper published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics has suggested that these little red dots, LRDs, may not be mature galaxies, but a new object in the universe, black hole stars. The analysis done by an international team of astronomers and physicists, including those at Penn State, say that the LRDs may be giant spheres of gas so dense that they look like atmospheres of typical nuclear fusion powered stars. However, instead of fusion, they are powered by supermassive black holes in their center that rapidly pull in matter, converting it into energy and giving off light. These black hole stars have a resemblance of other cold stars found in the universe, but magnitudes larger in size. While the gas surrounding supermassive black holes reach temperatures of millions of degrees Celsius, the gas around these stars remain relatively cold and emit light, primarily in the red or near-infrared spectrum. Supermassive black holes have been found at the center of galaxies as we see today. If the observations hold true, these supermassive black holes are in their infancy stage in this image. These new black hole objects could help explain the early evolution of our universe. More observations and studies will hopefully shed more light, unraveling more of the mysteries of our universe. That's it for your space news this week. Thanks to all my new subscribers for joining me here at Surveying the Cosmos. Until next time, take care and clear skies.